Okay, so today I'm going to be deconstructing Mtaze Harmonize. This is a request by one of the subscribers by the name Mistake from UG. So wherever you are, big up and here's the tutorial. So I'll start with the tempo. The tempo of uh, this song is 100. The key of the song is key G. The progression is 4, 1, 5, 1. 4 is C chord. Uh, 1 is G. D which is uh, the 5 chord and then one again which is uh, G. So I'll start with the uh, intro drums. So here's the pattern for the intro. Okay, first of all, here's the the samples that I used for the drums are as follows. Uh, here's the kick. Uh, this is a rim shot. And then uh, this is hi hat. Okay, uh, let me first of all solo, and let's uh, listen what how they sound all together. Okay, now that's the drum pattern, and this is um uh simply the pattern for the full track okay um second track or, uh, or okay on the second track here we have the guitars so here are the guitars okay now um let me zoom so that you can see the notes so here are the notes So, so um, the guitar part repeats itself. So after you input these uh, notes, they will just be, you know, repeating themselves uh, all through the song. Okay. Um, on the s instrument that I used here, I used a VST called Strum. Here strum five, and on strum I used a preset from uh, Electric Crunch. This bank Electric Electric Crunch, and then uh, the um, the preset here is uh, called the low down, the low down. So that's the preset that I used. Uh, but you know this uh, VST has many guitar sounds, so. Uh, you can try and find the exact sound. I know this is not the exact sound, but uh, you know, here are the notes. I this is the sample or the preset that I found that sounds close to the original track. Okay, there is also this other pad-like sound. Okay, firstly, let's play. So um Yeah, that's uh that uh pad like. So this um uh, sound I used um expand and then it's uh I got a sound from uh these soft pads and the particular sound is called angel so this uh, preset is the one that I used and uh, I think I only added on maybe the volume otherwise everything else is just uh, you know as is so that's uh, that sound and then we have the bass so I'm going to solo here and then let's uh, look at the bass line so here's the bass So uh, here are the notes.
okay i'm going to avail the project files so if you want to maybe have a look uh you know later on then you can download the project files so that's the base and for base i used uh, model base so let's uh here's a model base so on uh, the model if you listen to the song the uh the bass line is uh, very heavy and so i looked for uh a bass that kind of would have that uh you know heaviness and this is this metal bass is the one that i you know settled with so um so this metal wave and then i moved this um you know marker to around here this is i believe where now the fingers should be placed if you want to uh, if you're going for that you know thick so i tried different positions but this is the position where i found you know working best and that's the model so the model i used metal base and then on uh, play style i changed this touch to hard and uh, maybe the fingering also i probably tweaked it to fast position but you can just play around and uh, you know um until you get the sound that uh, kind of suits uh you know the you so on strings um i think i went with heavy so on gauge i i changed to heavy and then also on edge i chose uh, broken in a uh, type round okay that's uh, um, i left it as default and then on electronics i boosted some bass yes i really i boosted bass and uh, yeah so that was electronics on amp um i think here i just boosted a little of of you know uh, the master volume so um well that's um it for that bass so again here's uh, how the bass sounds <laughs> So if you don't have this uh, VST model base, you can look for another uh, live base and uh, maybe add an amp and then, you know, just tweak around until you get that um, heaviness. Okay, uh, there's also this uh, other track here. This is the roll. So here's how the roll sounds. So on the roll, I used uh, Easy Drama. So first of all, let me open up Easy Drama. Okay, it's a bit heavy. So um. So for that role, I of course looked for a role, a uh, one of the default roles that you know uh, come with this uh, easy drama. So it's an option where you can go with just uh, a role, or you can program a role uh, by yourself. But you know, save time because these um, some of these vsts have very good roles and I, I don't think there would be any you know big deal when you use these uh you know uh fields or presets so uh for this particular lore role i used uh this uh fill here so on um so i got it here is it drama uh, libraries is it drama pop this the first option and then uh these are uh, four over four over four straight 50 to 140 bpm fields and then uh, i will i chose this field <laughs> so
so that's okay so when you find a field that's kind of you know you one that you like you just drag and place it on the arrangement view where you want to uh, place um, uh, the the um, you know the role and then of course it's gonna ask you import tempo la 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 that one you can say no and then you have your the role there so um of course i'm going to de delete this one and then i also added a glue compressor just so that i could compress this uh, drum and you know make it uh, audible enough or hard enough so this the the on the glue compressor i have the threshold as at around negative 14 db and then they make up at 6 db so that's uh the the roll so again here's how this the roll sounds okay now um there's also this other wind instrument I believe it is sounds more like um a saxophone so here's it starts off with this uh, part here. So uh, these are the notes. So let me zoom in. So uh, for this sound, I used uh, a sound from L Latin Urban VST, and um, on the particular sound that I used is uh, this preset called MT Sax DEL M1. So that's the sound that I used, and. Um, I think I only added on the volume here and maybe the attack. I took the attack. So if if you know you feel that it does sound it doesn't have maybe much attack or much release or sustain, you can always feel free to come and tweak around and get a suitable sound. So that's um the saxophone. And then of course uh, we have this other track where uh, there's crash plays. So this crash, crash and all. So um, basically those are the instrumentations that make up this track. And this track, you know, there, there's a lot of redundance. So almost everything that plays in the intro also plays in the other parts of the song. The only parts of the song that sound a little bit different are the choruses and uh, that's where this uh, saxophone comes in or plays. So I'm going to play a bit of the song so that you can uh, have a feel of uh, how the song sounds. So let me 